Hey, what's up guys? Today in this video I'm going to be showing you how to install Juan and Coco's custom firmware on your 3.55 PlayStation 3. The big thing about this is that it enables you to play backups on your 3.55 PlayStation. We've been waiting for that forever. This is a really good thing, but like all good things, there is a downside in this. With this one, it sounds like a potentially devastating downside. Like, basically, this has bricked a lot of PS3s, and they've kind of compiled a list and figured out that the PlayStations that are bricking are the ones that have 256 megabyte NANs. So basically, if your PlayStation has a 256 megabyte NAND, that's N-A-N-D, don't do this. Don't do it. Just wait until he releases a better working one. Um, if it doesn't, I'm going to show you guys a chart where you can look up your PlayStation's model number and you'll know if this works or if it doesn't. Um, if it looks like your PlayStation will work, go ahead and do it. Follow along with the steps with me in the video. It's really easy and you'll be enjoying playing backups on your PlayStation. I'm just warning you though, proceed at your own risk. I'm not going to be held responsible for this. I don't even say that that much. You guys know there is a big chance of breaking your PS3, so just be careful. And if you break it, just understand the consequences. Um, I, if you have a spare PS3, that's the one that I do it on if it's compatible. So yeah, let's just go ahead and head over to my computer and I'll show you guys the steps. Okay guys, so here we go. You need to make sure that you have one thing right now. You need to make sure that you have a USB flash drive and go ahead and plug that into your computer. And then you'll notice up here, I've already downloaded it, but you need to go ahead and get this downloaded. It's going to be in the video description. It's a PS3 custom firmware 355 .rar. Okay, so there's a lot of confusion in some of my last videos about an RAR file. It's a file extension that file sharing sites will recognize so you can download the files inside that that file sharing site might not recognize. So you need something called WinRAR to open this. I will have that down below in the description. If you don't already have WinRAR or if you don't know what it is, you need to download that, get it installed, it's free, it's really easy. And then I'll show you how to unrar the file and hopefully that'll help all the confusion. So basically I have the RAR file right here. So once you have WinRAR installed, you should see an icon that looks exactly like this. It's like a little uh, package of books there, like belted together. So then you open that up. And you're going to get a window that looks exactly like this. Let me drag it over from my other monitor. So there you go. That's what WinRAR looks like. And inside, you can see that we have ps3cfw.pup. That is the PUP file that we're going to put on our flash drive. So look, you just need to go ahead and, and extract this. So just click on Extract to. Another box is going to come up and just extract it out to your desktop. It's probably where it'll go anyway if that's where you downloaded the file to. And it'll take just a few seconds to extract. Once it's finished extracting, go ahead and close out of WinRAR by clicking the X there. And then you should notice that you have a folder now on your desktop called the same exact thing, except for it's not an RAR file now. It's going to be just a folder. Open up that folder. And you'll see inside that same exact file, except for now we can use it because we've got it extracted. So there it is, ps3update-cfw.pup. So now what we need to do is just go ahead and rename this so the PlayStation recognizes it. So just ps 3 update erase everything after that. So it's just ps 3 updat dot pup and now what we need to do is go ahead and open up your flash drive and then you should make a folder on your flash drive if you haven't done this already called ps3 all capital letters open that folder up and then inside of that folder if you haven't done it already make another folder called update all capital letters U U P D A T E. open that one up and then it should be blank inside of there if it's not erase whatever you had in there before and just go ahead and drag over your ps3 update.pup file. So copy it. And we'll go back here and we'll just paste it right onto our flash drive. That'll just take a couple of minutes. It's about 170 megabytes. Let that finish. Okay, now that that's finished, you can go ahead and close out of your flash drive and safely remove it and go ahead and pull it out of your laptop. And then next thing we're going to do is head on over to the PS3. I'm going to go ahead and show you how to install this. It's really easy. Um, also, when I go over to the PlayStation, I'm going to show you exactly which models will work with this and which models you will brick. So pay very close attention to which model you have, and I'll show you where to find that on your PlayStation. And if you have the model that's going to brick, plain and simple, don't try this. Wait a couple days, wait a couple hours, who knows how long it'll be, and then we'll have a solution for you too. I'm sure that they'll have a firmware release for everybody who's on the older PlayStations. Okay guys, now that I'm over here at the PlayStation, we can go ahead and get started with flashing the firmware onto the PlayStation. First thing that you need to do is go ahead and unhook it or turn it around and take a quick look that way you know which model PlayStation you have so you know whether this is going to brick or if it's going to work. So first off I'm going to show you where exactly you find the model number on the PlayStation 3. There's going to be a sticker right here on the back and I'm going to try to get it close enough so maybe you guys can see it. There, hopefully you can see that model number. See how this one ends in CH, or I'm sorry, C-E-C-H-A. So that's the number that you need, C-E-C-H-A. So I know that this PlayStation is a C-E-C-H-A model. Um, I'm going to go ahead and look at the list here. I also have this on my website for you guys to check out. I'll have a link below. So I'm going to look over here and I look at my sheet and C-E-C-H-A 
001 that has 256 megabyte NAND. So we know that it won't work on this PlayStation. So if I tried to flash this firmware onto this PlayStation right now, it would break it and I would no longer have a PlayStation. So I'm gonna go ahead and pull out the other one. And if we look here, this one is a CECHK model. Let's see if you guys can see that right now. There it is, CECHK. So this one's safe. If I look over here on my sheet, the CECHK models do have a 16 megabyte NAND. So we're good there. It's not a 256, we're good to go. And I can go ahead and flash the firmware onto this. And I know that I won't get a brick. So let's go ahead and hook it up. And please guys, if you guys look on the list and your PlayStation's on the brick list and you know that it will brick, don't try it because that'd be dumb. And especially don't try it and then leave me bad comments because you can't say that I didn't tell you. And just wait a couple days, and I'm sure that we'll have something working for you guys who have the older PlayStation. So let's go ahead and get, get this done. First off, just go ahead and I'm going to turn on the PlayStation just to show you exactly what firmware it's on. Okay, so I'm going to go over here to the system settings and all the way down to system information. And you will be able to see that I'm on the 3.55 firmware right there. There you go. I'll zoom in just in case you can't see it. So there you go. I'm on the 3.55 firmware. And now what I'm going to do is go ahead and shut off my PlayStation. I need to get it into recovery mode so we can install our custom firmware. So I'm going to go ahead and turn off the system. I'm going to grab my flash drive here. And I'm going to, once it turns off, I'm going to go ahead and pop it into the front of the PlayStation. Alright, so here we go. Alright, now in order to get your PlayStation into recovery mode, you have it in standby mode. So you have a red light right here. And then you just go ahead and press and hold the power button and continue to hold it until you hear a beep and hold it past that as well. All the way until the PlayStation shuts off. Okay, so there, the PlayStation shut off. I can remove my finger. I'm gonna go ahead and press and hold the button again. I'm gonna hear it. one beep, keep holding. And you hear two consecutive beeps. Okay, there's the two beeps. Once you hear the second beep, just go ahead and let off. And it's going to say, connect the controller using a USB cable. I've already done that. And then press the PS button. Okay, we want to go all the way down to number six, system update. I'm going to go ahead and zoom in on the screen now so you guys can see. So all the way down to system update, press X. And then it's going to say, connect storage media that contains the update version. Well, we've just done that. So I'm going to press start and select at the exact same time. It's going to say, checking, please wait. This can take a couple of minutes on your PlayStation. All right, now it's going to say, preparing to update. This will take a couple of minutes. Just let this finish. Okay, once that's finished, the PlayStation is going to restart. Don't touch it. Just let it do what it does. Once the PlayStation resets, you're going to see it's going to come up here. It's going to say, PS3 system software, version 3.55, wanting Coco. And it's just going to say, press the PS button. So we'll do that. It's going to go over here, checking for update data, please wait. Okay, now it's going to come up with the user agreement. Go ahead and read through there, whatever, go ahead and accept it. We'll go ahead and press X, and we'll start the update. It's going to say installing, don't turn it off. That'll take a few minutes. All right, once that finishes, your PlayStation is going to reset. All right, now your PlayStation boots up, and let's make sure it worked. Obviously, we didn't brick it, so that's a good sign. Let's go ahead and look through the menu. Yay, there's install package files. Uh, these are packages that I've already installed before. So that's it. You guys just installed Wine Coco's custom firmware on your PS3. That's going to give you the ability to play backups on your PlayStation. Hope you really enjoyed. I really hope that it worked for you. If not, um, if it looks like you can try it again, go ahead and follow my tutorial through again. Give it another shot. If it bricked your PlayStation, I'm really sorry. You can't say that I didn't warn you. But that's all. I'm glad that I was able to help you guys. If you have any questions, leave me some comments down below the video. Send me a PM. Visit my website, ChrisTechTV.com. I'll try to help you through the problems. Uh, that's it though, I'll catch you guys in the next